Hey guys, welcome to Visible Jiu Jitsu. David Morsegal again, Constantine here. We're going to do a ninja choke, but not the other ninja choke. This is a nogi ninja choke. Um, a lot of discussion on what's called a ninja choke. It's Jiu Jitsu. Everything has multiple names and no one agrees on anything. This is what we're going to do. Uh, find an angle that might show everything. Let's go this way. Okay, so we're going to do multiple angles, so don't worry if you didn't catch everything there. We're going to do a ninja choke or power guillotine from a closed guard. Now, I'm going to show you two variations one for people with long arms, and one for people with shorter arms. So one will keep the guard closed and one will actually open it. Okay, so don't worry if you can't get the one uh, with the guard closed. That needs a bit longer arms sometimes. We're going to show you a different variation. Now, different to a power guillotine sometimes. Power guillotine, if I do it from certain positions, gets the throat. Sometimes it gets more the side. This one, because of my angle, is more likely to be sharp part of my forearm in the side of his neck rather than the front of his neck. Did you feel that more on the side? Yeah. More on the side, okay? So what we're gonna do is control his posture. We'll take posture breaking as red. We broke his posture down. There's loads of videos on how we do that. What I'm gonna do now is move his head to the one side, okay? And then the other hand is gonna pass through and hold his head against my chest. Now I've seen people do this, and it's okay if you have pretty long arms, okay? But what I need to do is with my tricep and armpit is cover the back of his head. So what I prefer to do is physically move my body, twist my body, and then come back, okay, into my rear naked choke grip. And then I know I'm guaranteed good control over his head, good deep control towards the neck, rather than just settling for here, where if he pushes on me and postures up, he might pop out. So I control, pass, and slide through, and I replace my grips. Remember, monkey bar principle of gripping is replace one grip before taking it off. Okay, just like you would grip monkey bars in the park. You don't swing from one to the next. One monkey bar, two, one. Okay, then the same. Come back. Only when this is over the top of his head do I let go and I squeeze. Okay, so uh, let's just change angle a little bit, see what's going on from the other side. So I'm going to control and I pass. Okay, I want to get his head off center. All right, feed my arm through and grip. And then I'm going to come over to get his head into my armpit and then come back into my rear naked choke grip. Okay, one more time. One, feed. And it's a tight, tight choke. Okay? That's all well and good if you've got nice long arms. God didn't open, didn't give anything up. Um, I'd broken his posture, I didn't have to go anywhere. Okay? If I want this choke and I have slightly shorter arms, what we can do is actually uh, either set it up from an open guard or get there from closed guard. So just like I would um, when I do a regular guillotine, I can't do it from here. I want to be sitting where I'm comfortable and I'm over my hips. I want my head to be over my hips in that direction so that I can wrap. And it's exactly the same here. I want to force his head to the side so that I can hit my power guillotine. Okay, from this sit up position, it's nice. And it works real nice from, from butterfly guard I can snap him down into regular guillotine, or I can snap him down into power guillotine, okay? So all I do is take a control up, boom, snap, pass, and then my shoulder, uh, armpit comes over the top. But because with this one, because I'm sat up, it's not always necessary for me to go and come back. A lot of the time, he's so low that I just get my armpit over the top, and now he's done. And sometimes this will get more of the throat, okay? Because the angle is slightly better. My forearm is more like this than like this, okay? So I get the side with the first one, a little bit more of the front with this one. 
So we just spin. So if I want to do it from guard, I would sit up, move my hips away, and I would pass. Look, there's my power guillotine. And then I don't really care where he goes from here. Okay, I can pull him back into close guard. I can finish here. If he tries to pass, I don't worry too much. I'm just going to keep squeezing and choking him. Passing's not going to help him in a power guillotine. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, share all the usual stuff that I say every video. Go click on some links down below if you want to support the channel further. Come back again for some more free videos, and we'll see you then. Cheers, bro.